This is Rockstar 2800 with Smut Free TV, the hottest content in these internet streets. Make sure you tune in, like, comment, subscribe. Get your mind right. Nah, for sure. Let's keep it going with the questions. Unique. 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 You there? We're going to keep it rolling. Um, I am. I'm sorry. I was doing something. Um, so I saw this um, song that you did. I know you said you're like not doing so much music anymore, but I was wondering what inspired you to do this song called um, The Other Side. I was checking out the lyrics to it. Yeah, man, that's from my rapping days. You know, that song, The Other Side, it, it's kind of a dark, deep and sad song. I, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, right? But there used to be a sub a subreddit on Reddit called Watch People Die. And it was very dark. It was basically just all videos of people dying in different various horrible ways. It had nothing to do with rap music. But um, it was something that used to kind of that I stumbled upon. Like my friend sent it to me. I can't lie to you, man. I, I probably spent a few hours on this on this twisted Reddit site. It got It got shut down now. They got rid of it. But I'll be honest with you, man, that shit fucks me up. I saw all this horrible stuff, all the shit I talk about in that video about, you know, on that sub, it's not a gang sub. It's about all different people, people falling into like machines that fucking tear their bodies apart and people getting hit by trucks and, and getting run over and blown up and shit and stabbed and shot and all kinds of shit, man. Car accidents. And that shit fucked me up, to be honest with you, bro. Someone sent that shit to me. I started watching through all of that stuff and I was, I was traumatized, man. I, I, I still be having nightmares about some of the shit I saw on that site. So back when I was making music, man i decided to make a music kind of reflecting on some of that wild shit that i saw on r slash watch people die and uh you know what i'm saying that was almost like a piece of therapy for me it's kind of fucked up you know I, I don't really do music anymore so i took a lot of my music down but i'll be honest with you that song actually meant a lot to me because seeing that subreddit fucks me up and seeing shit like that you know I, I see a lot of death whether it comes to you know footage of shootouts and shit that i have to look into for my videos um and, and that shit fucks me up man it's, it, it does give me a certain degree of trauma and that song was kind of like a version of therapy for me, to be honest with you. And uh, man, that's that's a deep piece of law right there. So I'm I'm impressed that you found something like that, man. You you might be a good researcher like me. <laughs> yeah, definitely caught my eye. For sure, Kawhi got my boy Kawhi in the building. Kawhi, what it do? Yo, what's good? What's good? Hey, yo, shout out to Trapler Ross pulling out to Smart Free. That's random as I didn't think he was gonna pull up today for real. But uh, I've been watching your videos for a while and. Uh, you had posted a video in 2020 that kind of um, was like a encapsulation of that year. It was called um, like a history of 2020 in rap. And I was wondering, uh, you haven't posted one of those for three years now. And I kind of um, thought that it was a good way to summarize that year. I don't know why you didn't have him posted one recently. If you Yeah, man, I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Did you want that? Um, yo, bro, sorry, bro. I was just grabbing a drink. Um, yeah, man. Uh, the funny thing with that, bro, I really like doing those end of year videos. It's actually a shame because I think the last one that I did, I spent a lot of time on it, and I think it, it ended up getting demonetized by YouTube, and uh, they never really gave me a reason why. And I, I didn't feel like there was anything even that bad in that video, and it was a lot of work, and I just felt kind of downtrodden by that. So once that happened, I just decided, you know what, I, I'm not going to do that. And instead, what I usually try and do is just go hard towards the end of the year and really just make effort to uh, to really just like drop a video that's just the best video that I can possibly do. So right now I'm just working on a big Tay Savage video that, um, you know, Tay Savage, I think he's next up as far as Chicago rappers go, bro. I think he's got an incredible amount of talent. He's got a very, very interesting backstory. And I just decided to spend a couple months working on that rather than the end of the year video just because I got demonetized that time, if I'm honest with you. But, but I'll keep it real with you. I might, I might, do, a, I might do a yearly wrap up again, maybe another year. But for now, I just decided to put my effort towards just picking an idea that I felt was a more of a timeless story. But, bro, I really appreciate that, man, because that 2019 and that 2020 video, you know, those are some of my favorite things that I've worked on. Um, but unfortunately, I feel like there was maybe something about that format or something something in there that was up. I, I thought those videos were pretty clean, but um, I ended up getting in trouble demonetized for those videos. And I ain't going to front. It, it ain't all about the money. But at the same time, like if I'm going to spend a whole month doing something like I'm going to make a loss, I got to pay bills and shit. So it's kind of like uh, I just decided to put my effort into doing one big story each year. So but bro, I really appreciate the support, man, that, that you're rocking with those vids. Yeah, I feel you. I just feel like those videos like uh, are kind of needed for the culture, you know, because we can look back on those videos and kind of look back like, oh, damn, this all happened in 2020. Nobody really does videos like that. And you do some of the best journalistic work inside of this space. And I just like to see another one. But. Good looks.
for pulling the. Yeah, hey, I appreciate that, bro. You know what? You you inspired me, bro. Maybe I maybe I have to cook up another one soon. You know what? I was even thinking of doing, bro. Tell me if this is a good idea. I've been thinking about maybe doing one that's like an old year. So maybe just at a random time doing a video that's like yo hip hop in like 1995 or some shit and picking a year that's like a real old year and focusing on a lot of the forgotten stuff that yeah yeah that'll be fire back. too yeah you should think i should do that yeah for real hell uh, yeah that's fire i like that idea let's uh keep it rocking man big jenny not the little one what's happening <laughs> what's up what's up hey trap um hey i'm at the nail shop so if you hear the, the chinese behind that's what's going on hey you been to chicago before no, I haven't been to Chicago before, but I want to go next year. Mm. I'm trying to go and I'm, 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 I'm trying to go out there and make a documentary. You know, I really want to meet with some of the people behind the stories that I'm talking about. And, you know, that ain't even really the rappers. Or I really would love to go and meet Tuka's mom, Duck's mom, uh, and talk about, like, you know, some of the real actual stories like behind this music, the people that have actually been impacted by it. So that's something that I'm kind of uh, that, that I'm kind of looking into long term. But you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people say a lot of things, so I got to make sure the security is straight before I get out there. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I just that because you the reason for a lot of the YouTube, the YouTube. <laughs> I talk about the people who go get information off YouTube about Chicago. I'm from Chicago. So it just, it be killing me how everybody be ready to tap so, so, so in into the Chicago culture and the music and they ain't never been to the city. That's why I asked you. But, um, yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep it real. I know I know. I need to get out there. And uh, you know what I'm saying? It does mean a lot to me. I want to get over there. i got to sort out a couple of things. i got to sort out the right visa because I've been to America, but I want to do it like a, more of a full production. And if I'm going to do like a big kind of working production and hire people and actually make a whole thing, i got to get the right visa to do that. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people have been inspired by my type of content. There's a lot of great journalists that have come out of Chicago. And, you know, I've inspired a lot of people, but I was also inspired by a lot of people, whether it's academics, Adam, DJ Vlad. You know, there's been a lot of people over the years that have inspired me. And I know there's a lot of new people that have come afterwards. And, you know, Chicago is really buzzing right now. You've got all kinds of personalities and characters coming out of the city, like Jay Main. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, really doing something different and pushing peace and doing something positive for the city. And I really respect it. So I want to get out there and meet the people. You know, I, I do understand that people don't like the fact that, like, I talk about Chicago, but I haven't been there. You know, I like to say that I, I make up for that by doing doing good research and just getting to the facts. But I do want to touch down and touch the city and, and speak to people in person. And like I say, you know, something I really would love to do is actually to speak to someone like Tuka's mom, FBG Duck's mom, um, and even maybe some of the some of the relatives of Vaughn. You know, I know some of them maybe don't necessarily think the most of me, but I would hope that maybe we could sit down and have a conversation and find some understanding. You know, I, I would never duck a conversation like that. And I feel like maybe that would help kind of, you know, push things forward and, push some push some peace and, and put some healing about so i don't know if you think that's a good idea let me know because i'm just trying to grow and learn too you know it gets tricky man but you you, you trap lord hold on let me make sure i feel right trap lord around so they might not be on bullshit with you <laughs> they might not play with you but um the community that the, the both both those fbg duck and King Von are from are kind of like gentrified. A lot of the white folks kind of coming through there, buying a property or whatever the case may be. So um, when you do come into Chicago, make sure you stay in the hood, though. Don't be scared. I'm trying to do that. Like, the thing with me is that, like, you know, I know people say certain things. I shouldn't go certain places. But I, look, I'm not scared. I'll definitely make sure that I'm secure and, you know, not not lacking or anything like that. But at the same time, if anybody has a problem with what I'm doing, like, I don't think the answer... Talk that right. shit, trap lord! I don't think... If anyone's got a problem with what I'm doing, bro, I don't think the answer is to say they're going to kill me or some shit. Let's sit down and have a conversation and tell me to my face why I'm wrong and I'll tell you why why, why I'm doing what I'm doing, bro. I ain't, I ain't scared of ducking no fades, you know what I'm saying? I, hey, I'm i just a dude. I ain't, I ain't a tough guy either, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to have an argument or, like, a beef or a fight nah, with somebody. Nah, you ain't. Nah, you ain't. I mean, because believe it or not, they don't want to talk. These niggas want to get on TV anyway. Y'all make the niggas want to get on TV and talk, so... They put their stuff in a trick bag, so if you able to go ahead and get something from it, ain't no problem with that. I ain't mad at you. Did you follow um after Zach TV? Because you know Zach TV, dad, doing the same thing. I thought he was a journalist, too. Did you, yeah, you know, did you Zach, Zach TV was somebody... Zach TV was somebody who had a huge impact, you know, saying a lot of the work that he's done documenting the Chicago scene, that's made what 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 I do and what other people in this space do possible. You know what I'm saying? And RIP to Zach TV, I think it's, it's messed up what happened to him. 
and you know what I'm saying he's somebody that I respect and and he inspired me so you know I'd love to get over there and speak to some of his people and and, and kind of push his legacy and like I say have some of those conversations you know what I'm saying it, there's a lot of people from O Block a lot of people from Chicago that like I show love to you know there's a lot of up and coming rappers from O Block that like you know what I'm saying they see me in more of a positive way you know what I'm saying I'm I'm locked in with Durkey from O Block who I I think really is next up he's very talented you got Ike Mana Aiki over there. There's a lot of really talented artists that I actually think are about to have a really big moment. And I'm just trying to push something positive and, and promote those artists and let people know that, like, yo, there's a lot of talent coming out here. It ain't all about Vaughn. It ain't all about the shooting and violence. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's keep it rocking and rolling, man. Try to keep it short and sweet. We got a lot of people asking questions. KK, what it do? Yo. Trap, what up, man? Hey, hey so, peep, my only question is, Shit, I, I, I fuck, like I told you in person, I fuck with your content. That shit just be too goddamn long. But aside from um, the stories you covering, like what else is different from the channel? Like, like when we go to the channel, even though I fuck with it, even if it is just killing. But I'm saying, like for the other people, like if they want to come to your page, like are they just learning about who died, or are they learning about niggas that's still here too, though? Yo, bro, I really appreciate that question, man. And, and this is something funny because I know that the, you know, it ain't even just me, right? When it comes to music, I think right now we're in this era of drill music where it's like the killing is what gets the most attention. But if you actually check out what I'm doing, bro, there's a lot more to it. Like I, at the start of this year, I did a video on Eminem and Kim and, and their toxic relationship. You know, I did a very long hour and a half video on, on Kim yeah. Kardashian. Kanye West divorce. So I actually yeah. cover a lot of aspects of hip hop that I, I personally think are really important and interesting. You know, I did two and a half hours on Eminem and Kim, and that's that's a nothing to do with violence. Damn near twenty years ago, he did you know, uh, the Jay Z and R. He did nah, Jay Z nah, nah. and R. I, Kelly too. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I've been watching your page for a minute, bro. Like I I ain't brand new to the shit. I'm just saying though, like you know, most of the stories that most of the stories, how can I say like, all right, bet. I see all the other shit you do, but I'm saying the ones that get me glued is the killing ones. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not saying yeah. that niggas should stop doing it or none of that shit, because I told you, I, I fuck with it personally. But I'm just saying, like, if a nigga click on it or whatever the case may be, I like, the first four or five videos might be about a death. Even though it's, it's, it's good to talk about the death and how you break it down. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, is the, it, like, what, what can a nigga say, like, the page is, like, like what's the page for? Like, yeah, bro. So, so the 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 name, bro, Trap Law Ross. Like the whole idea yeah. is that it's like the law is folklore. You know, it's it's history. So I'm yeah. really trying to give the history of kind of trap music. I'm not saying I'm a trap lord. Sometimes people think I'm trap lord, but it ain't trap lord. Like it's trap law. It's folklore, history from the trap, trap music, hip hop music, drill music, and, and it's really about history, bro. Like I'm I'm a historian of the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm really trying to put down on the page the history of everything that's happened in this space and really that's for future generations to understand bro because because realistically king von like king von and duck that's the that's the tupac versus biggie of this generation of rappers bro and people are going to be talking yeah, about no, these yeah, no, that, 20 that years was a, yeah, that was a big situation for sure all right so then Pete, right so when that shit happened right like how do you like when you come up with i'm gonna do this four five hour video like are you on some hey man do you do you think about getting in contact with anybody and just say, like, look, man, I'm about to word it like this, or I'm about to put out this, this, and that, but I'm just giving a heads up, though, like. So I personally don't do that, because my, my whole thing is it's like, I don't want to give an inside story. I'm not trying to expose anyone's private information. Like, right. my whole thing is it's just the video is a collection of all the information that's publicly available, whether it's the lyrics, the articles, you know what I'm saying, the Reddit posts, the interviews, the, the, the vlogs, you know what I'm saying, people doing their IG lives. It's really just a collection of all the information out there so like i don't feel like it's right of me to go and get inside information or to try and get people to expose themselves or twist their words i'm really just putting out the information that's already out there like for example you know i've let people know i'm about to do a tay savage story and like tay tay's hit me up and said like yo I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for your story and you know what i'm saying i respect that i'm excited to show him what i got but i'm not asking him no police questions or i'm not asking him yo can you give me the secrets or can you give me the no, source no 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 like, no i'm gonna just make, I, I, make I, the I shit on him that. what he thinks, I, know you no? don't, I, I know you don't do that i know for a fact you don't do that so listen how do you decipher what's real when like because i know i know some i know i know at sometimes somebody's probably telling you hey look this up look this up look this up and even though you are going to get the police reports and you getting court documents and shit like do you as a person know I don't know. I don't know about your, your history with jail or anything or cases or nothing like that. But I'm saying, do you know that, you know, even shit in the paperwork sometimes 
that shit be bullshit too. Yeah, bro. I'll, I'll be. I'll keep it real with you, bro. Sometimes the paperwork's bullshit. Sometimes there's fake paperwork that ain't even real. Sometimes there's a Reddit post that's bullshit. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, in the Von video, right? Like, I think a lot of people got it twisted. Like, I show a screen where there's, like, 11, 12 people that, that got killed. And, like, one of them's, like, Lil Mark, right? And there's a lot of people on Reddit that are like, yo, Von killed Lil Mark. Bro, I ain't saying in the video that he killed him. I'm just saying that this is a theory. A lot of people say that. But, like, the ones that is actually, like, confirmed that he's tweeting 15 minutes after the murder. Like, I make it very clear. So my thing is, it's like, I'm trying to give people a complete collection, and I kind of let people draw their own conclusions. Like, as far as the, those situations, I'm saying, yo, look, here's a lyric that Von said that he did this to this person. Like, for example, whether we're talking about the KI situation, okay? So we got the police paperwork that came out that said Von was the number one suspect in the KI paperwork. Then you got, there's a, a, you know what I'm saying, another statement where they said that they thought it was him and T-Roy at the scene or whatever. But then you got a lyric from Von where he's talking about, yo, I'm shooting everybody plus the females in here. And then on top of that, you got the A&E documentary about KI where Von's in the shit smoking a blunt talking about when ki got killed i ain't have nobody to go and hang out with so it's like i try and just put together all of the information all together put it there for you to kind of make your own mind up and draw your conclusion because at the end of the day man like i'll keep it real like, look i wasn't there bro i didn't see von shoot ki and even if i did and i said i saw it i you know people wouldn't believe me so it's really a case of i'm trying to find every single piece of evidence on the topic and i'm trying to lay that out for everybody to understand and like let's keep it real bro you know what i'm saying we'll never know 100 100 full percent that Von did that shit. But what we do know, I feel like you could say damn near 95 percent sure based on the lyrics and the police report and the A&E documentary and the shit that he said and the fact that he pressed me personally for even talking about the shit that, you know what I'm saying? I would say with 95 percent possibility that he probably did that. But I can never say 100 percent, you know what I'm saying? So I try and put all of the information, all to, excuse me, all together for people to understand in one place and to give the most clear picture of what went on. But bro, you know, that damn near ain't nothing in life uh, 100%, you know what I'm saying, 100% confirmed unless you see it with your own eyes. And even then, bro, some people perceive things differently, but I'm really trying my best to just give the most detailed uh, record and account of what went on. Does that make sense? Right, right now. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Yeah, appreciate you, buddy. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we're going to keep it rocking and rolling. Remo and a bit of no jumper, but let me get on to Lisey, 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 Lisey. Oh, yeah, I don't have any questions. Thanks for coming on the share, though, Trap. We can't hear you. What? I'm at work. No oh, okay, okay. Sticks. Sticks. You got a question for Trap? If not, we're going to keep it rolling. We're going to keep it rocking and rolling. Uh, no, nah, I don't have no bro. All right. John Rule. John Rule. Yeah, I got a question, man. Um, You said that you... uh down for the uh, hip-hop culture and all that, but why everything you post be, like, negative shit? You, I, don't, I don't see no positive shit on your videos, like, that you done uploaded. I, I, I personally would disagree. So, like, there's a couple of points to that, but I, I, I feel like maybe I understand where you're coming from. Like, if you just look at each story, like, ultimately, I have covered a lot of negative stories as far as, like, you know, King Von's story, Young Boy's story, but then when you actually watch the Young Boy video, for example... Like, there's a lot of positive and negative. You know what I'm saying? I talk about the positive aspects of his career, like his stop the violence movement and like the positive steps that he's trying to make to heal and move forward from kind of some of the negativity that's been associated with his career. So, you know, ultimately, like, I'll keep it real with you, man. Drill music is ultimately a, it is a very negative genre. You know, it's about who smoked who and, and, and sort of all the, all the really dark and demonic sides of, of life, essentially. You know, it's violent music. And ultimately, we're in a violent era. You know, I feel like, um, you know, drill and the streets, like th things are really hard out here for a lot of people. So, you know, I feel like the content reflects what's going on. But I always try and show like both sides of the coin. You know, I know maybe some people don't tune into that to, to the to the kind of nth degree. But like my thing is that like, I try and show both positive sides. I mean, there is a lot of negativity, but it's like there's positivity in the negativity. You know, even in my video I did about the murder of FBG Duck, I kind of talk in that video about how, you know, FBG Duck's mother was affected by the situations, but I, I kind of try and put a positive spin on it and say that, look, I really admire this woman's strength, that she went through this and she lost her son in a very public way, and she was getting mocked by all these people, but she kind of stayed strong and tried to push forward and do something positive and kind of come out of this situation. But, like, I ain't going to cap to you, bro. There's, there's a lot of negativity on my channel and there's a lot of negativity in the world, but I'm just trying to help people make sense of the negativity that's out there because I think you, you could say the same thing about drill music itself. Like, realistically, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, Vaughn put a lot of negative uh, negative influences out there. You know, Youngboy put a lot of negative influences out there. Right. But to his credit, to his credit, bro, he's trying to stop the violence now. And he, he's trying to push positivity in a certain way. You know, even Dirk, bro. You know, Dirk's done a lot of negative stuff, doing shit of ducks, saying smoking on duck and all this kind of thing. But, you know what I'm saying? He did that all my life with J. Cole. He's pushing a lot of positive messages now. And, you know what I'm saying? I know he's giving back to his community. And, and that's something that I'm trying to do. You know? Like I say, I just but like that's, uh, that's certain stuff that you haven't posted. But another question. Um, do you consider yourself a hip hop police? Nah, bro. I, I I consider myself more of like a journalist, bro. You know, more of a more of a, a journalist and maybe an investigator, but not a police, bro. Because my thing is like I'm not trying to lock anyone up, and I think I I would be more police if I was on the block in person filming, trying to get people to incriminate themselves. Like I don't because think you dropped that video right? when a uh, young boy got an open case. That's kind of policey. Nah, but the hey, thing is, bro, I ain't saying, that, bro. I, I ain't Yo, saying nothing. You gotta stop that, bro. <laughs> I ain't saying that. nothing that ain't already out there, though, bro. That's nasty I work. I'm reading the paperwork. I'm reading the paperwork about his case that's already out there, bro. So I ain't dropping nothing new that his lawyers are gonna be like, oh damn, we need to suppress this evidence. Like, young boy's got an SD card full of full of videos of him toting guns that he's trying to get the prosecution to to be suppressed right now. And like, bro, I ain't seen what's on that SD card. I'm just talking about shit that's on social media that they've already got in the case. So I'm not putting anything additional out there. And that's really not my bag, bro. I'm not trying to be on no, nobody's block with a hidden camera or like and doing no secret interviews where I'm trying to get people to slip up and say the wrong thing. I'm just dealing with shit that's already out there. And trust me, bro, if I can find a piece of information, you damn near know a genuine detective is going to be able to get that information plus more. They got the phone records. They got people's private DMs. They're tapping people's phones. And that's on a whole other level, bro. So, you know, I don't see myself as the police, but, you know, some people do see it that way. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? That's, that's their opinion. Hey, have the police ever contacted you? Never, bro. It's never happened. I know Vlad said that the, the police contacted him about the two-pack shit and that he, he kept it solid, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not happened to me. But if it did, I might have to keep it solid. I'll just say, bro, I found this shit out on Google. Like, if, if the police are coming to me, I, I got to say to them, bro, you need to go to G-O-O-G-L-E dot com and look this shit up yourself, bro. Because, you know what I'm saying? That shit's already out there. And if you guys can't find it, bro, you need, you guys need to hire a new detective. No, nah, for sure. All right, let's keep it rock, rolling. Y young Queasy, Young Queasy. Yo, yo, Trap, long time subscriber, man. Been fucking with you for a while. Um, Are you aware or hip to the scene in D.C.? Sorry, bro, say that again. I said, are you aware of the scene in D.C.? Like, has that ever popped up on your radar? You know, a lot of people have been asking me to do the D.C. scene. And uh, I know my guy Trap Geek did a, did an in-depth breakdown of some of the stuff that goes on over there. But I'll be honest with you, bro, I'm not super tapped in with it. It's definitely something that I want to learn more about as time goes on. But I'll keep it real, bro. I don't know too much about D.C., so maybe you might tell me a thing or two. Oh, you would, you would love it because around the same time, era, you start talking about Chicago. Chicago and D.C. had like an Avengers click up. So, like, a lot of our culture was, like, meshing around, like, when Chief Keef and all that was popping up, when Chief Keef got his tour bus shot up in D.C., like, a lot of shit. That's crazy, bro. bro Chief Keef even I, talk about when Cameron got shot in D.C. I don't even, bro, I didn't know none of that, bro. That's sounds crazy, <laughs> mate. Bro, you got to DM me some, some of that, some of that, some, DM me some videos, bro, because I want to learn more about the D.C. scene. I but got more importantly, you. bro. I, I want to know more about the rappers, bro. I want to hear good music from DC. So you need to tap me in with some of, the Free no and some, of the, some of the songs. Also, yeah, I'm gonna so I'm gonna send you a DM right now. Love, bro. Hit me. I'll, I'll, I'll try and make sure I see that tonight or tomorrow. It's, it's gonna be who is Young Queasy. Love, bro. I'll definitely check that. All right, Ted. Ted, what it do? Yo. All right, what's up, Trap? My my question is, why you don't shine the light? more on uh, the UK scene because they got an up and popping scene too you know what I'm saying and it should it'll be nice to learn more about them too hey bro I love that question man I actually have a UK story coming up so I got the taste out story coming up. and after that I'm about to do a big UK story on a bunch of guys from from an area in London called Camden there's a rapper called Suspect T Scam Chinks OS there's a whole scene that's going on there bro and it's it's very exciting, yeah, they a lot of really good music, crazy. a lot of talented people. Bro, that's that, that's the thing. It gets real over here too, bro. So I'm going to try and shine a light on that. That's probably going to drop in like February. So stay tuned for it, bro. It's going to be big. 
Hell yeah, you breaking up a little bit, Trap. You breaking up, breaking up. Fix your signal. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got? Deuce. Deuce. If you ain't you dropped yourself to the goo, if you ain't got no question, don't have me call your name. Or somebody drop him if he not going to say nothing. Nah, you know, niggas might be at work, bro. Just keep it pushing. Yeah, I got to drop niggas, though. And no. And no. Whoa. You got you got What's a question up? for trap nigga or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a question for him. Um, Jaru just kind of asked him a question about it, but um, like with the young boy documentary, you got. First off, I want to say, bro, I like a lot of your material too. You know what I'm saying? I just certain things in the material, like it's really not like you said they got paperwork on it and stuff. But like with young boy um documentary. Where you hear that, like, he was involved with the Jada Young and shit. Like, that's that's the part that, that like, lost me. Yeah, bro, you know, I, I didn't actually touch on the Jada Young situation too much, to be honest, in that video. Um, I actually, you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't know too much about it. There was a lot of rumors. I, I didn't feel like we could really get to the bottom of it. And ultimately, like, I wanted to really focus on the situations that really affected his career the most. Um, but you know what I'm saying? That that was a whole other aspect and a lot of people Where you hear that like he was involved with the Jada Young and shit, like that's that's the part that, that like lost me. Yeah, bro, you know, I, I didn't actually touch on the JD Young and situation too much, to be honest, in that video. Um I actually, you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't know too much about it. There was a lot of rumors. I, I didn't feel like we could really get to the bottom of it. And ultimately, like, I wanted to really focus on the situations that really affected his career the most. Um, but, you know what I'm saying, that, that was a whole other aspect. And a lot of people have said to me, maybe do the kind of Jay the Young and Life story. So I felt like maybe I would save that. And at some point when I got more time, do like a full breakdown of Jay the Young and kind of career, his legacy and, and his passing. Because I know he's an artist that impacted a lot of people. Um, you know what I'm saying? He, I'll, be, I'll keep it real with you, bro. He's not somebody that I tapped in with a lot, that, that I've listened to a lot of his music. So, you know, until I, until I really delve, dig deep into his catalog, it, it's probably not coming from a genuine place. But, you know what I'm saying? I know that that's a story. A lot of people hit me up and say, you need to cover the Jay the Young situation. And uh, it's something that I want to get, want to kind of dig deeper into. Right. What what I'm saying is though, like in in, in the documentary, it seemed like he was leaning toward like young boy, like being involved with like the situation. What happened with him? Uh, like right, now, like I'll be. I don't know too much about that situation, but like with the young boy doc, I feel like I kind of come to the clue conclusion at the end that like he raps about a lot of these situations and kind of gets deep, kind of as far as like associating himself with a lot of the a lot of the violence that goes on in Baton Rouge but ultimately at the end of the day I feel like Youngboy is just a great artist I don't think he's you know apart from that case that he caught when he was 16 sorry in 2016 when uh, you know what I'm saying he, he got the 10 year suspended sentence for kind of sliding on somebody about you know his, his cousin that passed away you know, beyond that, I feel like Youngboy has generally been, been a lot more focused on music and, you know, people have tried to kill him, but ultimately, like, his career has been much more focused on music and, you know, he's been on house arrest for damn near, like, what, four or five years now. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a situation where, you know, where we really concluded the video at the end, I, I personally wouldn't say that Youngboy was personally, you know what I'm saying, a killer or involved in these murders as far as all the evidence that I looked at. And that video was really meant to be like a direct contrast to the King Von video, where I felt like actually when you look at all the evidence, all the lyrics, all the tweets, all of the police reports, that like it builds up a pretty clear picture that Von was a killer and he really was what he said he was. You know what I'm saying? The, the big question in hip hop recently has just been like true or false. You know, are people capping or are they really what they say they are? And, you know, I feel like the conclusion that I felt was was when it came to Von, he, he, he really you you could you could back a lot of evidence up and support what he had said in his music. Whereas when it came to young boy, you know, I'm not trying to say that he's a fraud or anything like that. But what I'm trying to say is that like, there really ain't, ain't no evidence. You know, it's funny. People want to say like, Oh, you're, you're incriminating young boy. He got an open case. But like the conclusion of my video is that like, he ain't really do none of that shit. You know, he personally ain't really involved in none of that shit. As far as like, you know, the actual murders, all these bodies, he says he got 12 bodies. Like, I, I wouldn't say that I believe Youngboy has 12 bodies. You know what I'm saying? If you listen to his song, Forgiato, he said he got seven bodies or nine bodies. And he got a song on his uh, Don't Try This at Home where he says he got 12, 12, 13 bodies. And like, I feel like that's just entertainment when it comes to him. But when Von said he had seven bodies, I feel like Von really did.
Hell yeah, who we got next? A uh, T.O. T.O. Hey, yo, so what's your plan for your, your next uh, adventures coming up? Like, what's your plan to, uh, to do with uh, Trap Lord uh YouTube? Yeah, bro, I appreciate that that question, T.O. So the plan is, bro, i got a Tay Savage documentary I'm trying to drop before the end of the year. So that's coming up next. I'm hoping that's going to drop, like, mid-December. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we got a lot of editing to do. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? I know I know Tay is waiting to watch that video himself. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be big. i got the, the Suspect Active Gang. That's a UK story that's coming. That's probably going to drop in February, to be honest. Because I need to take a little time off in January. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and beyond that, i got a lot of big stories that I want to do. I want to do a big Chicago story. I want to do the story of 600. Um, I, I, I got a few other stories in the pipeline, but uh, maybe I won't. You I won't said six, oh, oh, 600 I in Chicago, right? I want to do the 600 Chicago story, but that's, that, I need a few more months, bro. There's so much to that story. I need like two. I heard you were doing the Brick Baby now. story. Did you end up doing it? So I didn't do the Brick Baby story, but I, I did I did kind of cover a lot of the rumors about Brick Baby when it came to the whole Kwondo Rondo situation. But again, if you if you listen carefully to what I say in the video, in spite of the fact that there's been a lot of rumors about Brick Baby doing all sorts of shit, lining up Kwondo Rondo, there really ain't any solid evidence to actually connect him to that shit. You know, there's a lot of interviews, a lot of speculations. I'll be keep it real with you. I, I feel like Brick Baby maybe put himself in that situation to kind of promote his music and, and build a little bit of a buzz, but there ain't no evidence connecting him to that shit. But as far as a, a straight up Brick Baby video, that's not something that I'm currently planning on doing, but shout out to Brick Baby, man, because, you know, even though that I had talked about some of the rumors about him in my video, you know, in person, he showed me a lot of love and, you know what I'm saying, there was no disrespect. I wasn't trying to incriminate him. I was really just trying to trying to talk about and, and explore the rumors. And as I say in the, in the video, there's zero evidence that's actually pointing towards Brick Baby actually having him been involved in this. And if I keep it real with you, I, I think Brick Baby is quite good at marketing, bro. I think maybe he he kind of pulled the strings and, and, and put his name in that situation to promote his music in the same way that, like, I don't know if you remember, I think there was a rapper called uh, Soldier Kid. Uh, and he kind of convinced the internet that he was involved in the murder of XXXTentacion. And, you know what I'm saying, that turned out to be Cap. And he ended up going viral off that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? It was the that, other that's... way around, bro. The internet accused him. He ain't, he ain't do that. Which one? Soldier Kid. Yeah, and it, the, and internet the internet did it to him. Yeah, he ain't, but, but he ain't he, do I, that. He, 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 no, that I agree, but that's the thing. I think he, he like, capitalized. Didn't he drop a song off of that shit with, like, the red mask in the background? He had and, did like, that people before. people were saying that, it was a dude with the red that's mask. Why they were yeah, together. that was, it was, yeah, it was, but it didn't, was and didn't he drop, didn't he drop a song afterwards and kind of got a little buzz off that? I swear, I swear there's a video that's, like, how Soldier Kid beat the internet. And he kind of like nah, kind you of got finessed it the wrong way around. You got it the wrong yeah. way around. They, I, I'm, they tripping, I'm tripping. Him, bro. I'm tripping. My bad. Yeah, my bad. If I'm tripping. My bad. Yeah, right, let's go to Iman. Iman. Yo, uh, so uh, there y'all pass me up. Uh, who? Ahead, who? I ain't pass nobody up. Nigga, you down there? I see how how I see the order is how I'm going. Uh, I'm okay, gonna get to bad, you. My bad. My bad. Don't trip. Yo, Iman, what's, what's happening? What up, bro? Salute for having us on, man. Uh, Trap, thanks for taking the time, but. Yo, my question to you more so is about your process, right? Because I know you got a million subscribers, but go back to when you were at 50,000. Like, what is your process from idea to finished video? And, and kind of talk about what made you successful. So, like, somebody has maybe a 10K or 20K that wants to replicate what you're doing. And, like, don't hold back. So, just what game would you give us or to anybody with that question? Yeah, love, bro. That's a great question, man. So my thing was just like, you got to focus on what you're passionate about, bro. I got a genuine passion for hip hop. Like, I really mean it when I say that I love hip hop. I don't listen to other genres of music. People think I'm out here secretly listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers and the Beatles and shit, but I don't listen to any of that. I genuinely love hip hop. So when I started making videos and talking about the shit I was really passionate about and that I knew a lot about, that's when things start to go up because I think people can see the genuine passion behind it. So that would be step number one. You just got to make sure you're doing shit you're genuinely interested in. But when it comes to the process of actually putting together and researching a video, what I would say is that like what is key is is building a timeline you know for me i just try and like do my research and again if you're not passionate about it if you're not if you don't love young boy enough to watch every one of his interviews back to back in like a week you know what i'm saying it's, it's going to be difficult for you to put something like this together but like my thing is i'll listen to every young boy interview i'll listen to every song and i'll just make notes you know what i'm saying i got a google doc i'll just be putting together notes all of the details about the situations that i'm reading about hearing about listening about and put them all into a document man and kind of build up a timeline and just slowly piece together all of the facts, all of the details, all of the pictures, songs, music videos. And I'll just damn near, near work that for like two, three months. 
just until until I get to the point where I feel like I damn near seen everything. Like there ain't really much shit about Young Boy you can show me that I ain't seen before. Now that's not to say like there's probably some shit. There's probably some shit that passed me by, but like, on the whole. I kind of, I know this shit in and out because I, I really genuinely have that passion and I've sat there and listened to everything that you could possibly learn about, dude. So, you know, my thing is, it's just like, it, it comes from a place of passion and I just piece it all together in a Google document, you know, using Google, using Reddit, using interviews, using police reports. I'll just find all of that shit. And you know what I'm saying? There's a different process to every single thing, you know, it'll take me hours to explain everything, but like, you know, you got to work out how to pull a police report. You got to work out how to download some, some, uh, some legal paperwork from like pacer you know you got you got to know how to google some shit and it ain't just regular googling you got to know the right things to google maybe using like an advanced search to search for certain search terms and you know what i'm saying looking for young boy news that's only from 2017 or 2018 if you're looking for a specific fact um and just building all of that shit on top of each other bro you know it, it ain't easy but like i genuinely love this shit so you know what i'm saying it's, hey, do, you, uh, do you need do you need permission uh to do any of this or do you can you just do it without um getting my permission from anybody or anything else like that yeah i don't get permission because i use public sources bro so it's it's all public sources it's also information that's public like i can't share people's secret personal information you know people do a privacy claim against your video if you're exposing them if i put out there what's shit, that called control. fair use is that called fair use and act trap what's that yeah, fair use, man. It's it's basically the idea that like you know, it, as long as you're kind of like putting your own commentary, analysis, uh, uh, and sort of like essentially taking some information and transforming it and turning it into something new. Like I wouldn't just take a one-hour young boy video and upload it to my channel. Uh, uh, sorry, I wouldn't take like a one-hour young boy interview and upload it to my channel that someone else did. My thing is that I'm taking all of this information and turning it into something new. Uh, I'm adding to it. I'm explaining it. I'm taking one thing and relating it to another thing, and then adding a video over it you know, adding some analysis, giving some extra points. And that's really what fair use is all about. Oh, definitely. Cordy, Cordy Mac, what's in it? Yo, what's good, Trap? Hey, what's good, bro? Good to have you here. Shit, sure. sure, I was wondering when you gonna make a video about FBG Cash? Mm, yeah, you know what? A lot of people have been hitting me up saying, yo, you need to do the FBG story. These guys are the underdogs and they're not really getting enough shine. And I kind of agree. It's something that's it's high up on my list. I think maybe next year I might do a more detailed uh, story kind of from the FBG perspective. Because, look, I try and give both sides of the story, but I'll keep it real with you. You know, when I'm doing a King Von documentary, we're really looking at things like from Von's perspective and we're really focusing on on Von's life story and, and how his life was affected or the lives that he affected but I think it would be really good to kind of set the record straight and do a story about the whole FBG crew all of the members that were involved all of the different like you know all of the different musicians that kind of came and went from that crew and from that situation and really put a spotlight on that side of things you know what I'm saying because there were a lot of talented artists man and RIP to FBG Duck RIP to FBG Cash these were guys that really had a lot of potential and were taken way before their time, man. So, you know what I'm saying? At some point, I really want to put shine on that. But um, I, I appreciate you asking that, bro, because I, I do agree. Um, but Rockstar, bro, I, I can only take a couple more questions, maybe just a few more minutes, because i got to dip in a second. i got to, I got to jump in the car and go on a long long journey in a second, bro. So Definitely, definitely, okay. definitely. Definitely. Trey Money. What's up, bro? Uh, what up, Trey? Hey, what's good, right, man? so look. Uh... I watched your little 03 Greedo thing, man. Uh, what inspired you to do that video? Yeah, bro. You know what's funny, man? I've got to give a shout out to my guy, Drew, is sharing. Uh, he's a very big uh, cannabis YouTuber in the UK, bro. He's a huge 03 Greedo fan. He really put me on to 03 Greedo a few years ago, and he was just harassing me, telling me, bro, you got to do the 03 Greedo story. And it was like, it was organic, bro, because I got into his music through my homie, Drew. And just over the, over the years, I became a huge fan of Greedo's music while he was still still incarcerated. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? At a certain point, I just learned so much about his music. I became so inspired by him as an artist that, uh, like, eventually I felt like I had to cover the story. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was actually at Adam22's birthday party a few weeks ago, and 03 Greedo was there, but I didn't meet him, bro. There were so many people at that party. I didn't end up meeting him, bro, and I'm kind of heartbroken that I didn't. But he really is a, a living legend out here, bro, as far as uh, L.A. music goes, man. And I'm, I'm wishing him all the best uh, all the best success and growth going forward now that he's home, bro. He's, he's a legend, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's no, for sure. Who we got? Uh, I really want to get three more people on here. Uh, Crimey's, I don't know if you had a question. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. Uh, so you're oh, yeah. rock star for creating this uh, content today. But uh, Trap Blood Ross, are you offended when people call you a culture vulture? That's my only question. 
a respect, bro. I appreciate you having here. I'm not offended, bro, because the thing is, I don't think you can be a white person in hip hop without being called a culture vulture, bro. That's part of the course. That's how it goes down. I'm not offended, but I, I would disagree. Like, I don't think that I'm a vulture of the culture. I think that kind of implies like a real recklessness as far as like just taken from from the culture for your own personal gain with no respect or no love for the culture. But like, I think being a vulture would imply that I don't actually like it and I'm just doing it for money or clout. But like, I really love this shit, bro. And, and people were calling me that at the very start. And I said to people, you know what? I'm going I'm to just prove myself with, with, with my work rate. And I'm still going to be here in three, four, five, you know, hopefully 10 years. I'm still going to be a part of the culture and, and still going to be showing love and shining a light on the artists that I think are important and the stories that I think are important in hip hop, bro. But it don't, bro, it don't nothing offend me, bro. I got a lot of haters. You know what I'm saying? People say they don't like me. They say they want to kill me. But like, bro. I love hip hop, man, and ain't nobody gonna convince me that I don't. You know what I'm saying? I really love and respect and, hip hop. And you ain't lacking, nigga. No, 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 I'm playing. Uh, let me go, Big Chuck, because I know Big Chuck. Big Chuck of YouTube. Yo, yo, salute, Rockstar 2800. Uh, hey, I want to ask you. I know you spoke. Hold on. Now, nah, there you go. Come on. Come on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I want to ask you, I know you said earlier a lot of stuff you found on Google, but when it came to like the Draco documentary, as well as the King Von documentary, you was like implicating people that, you know, potentially the police didn't know about. Did you Yo, I, I kind of caught the, the first part of that. Can you just say the last part again? He said you was implicating like, people that the police didn't know about. Yeah, like far as the King Von documentary and the Draco documentary. Yeah, like who though? Who did I implicate the police didn't know about? Uh, like Munchie B. What do you mean, Munchie? I didn't implicate Munchie B in nothing, bro. Draco was this Munchie B on all kinds of notes. Munchie B is day actually day in the out. building, Trap Raw. Munchie B is Ciao, in the building. Munchie. Ciao, Munchie B. Munchie. I don't. I feel like a Draco was this and Munchie B nonstop. I didn't implicate Munchie B in nothing. Let's hear it. Munchie B. What you? How you feel about Trap, man? Oh. Shit, I like his content. I don't think I was implicated, but 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 it, it, it's shit that that's on there that ain't recycled on the internet that I, I was wondering, like, damn, how the fuck you know that? But, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody getting stabbed at the court building and shit like that, but, but shit, man, that shit, I mean, I, I like this shit. And then you ain't really got to be from somewhere to research something and put it out there. Nigga, it's, it's, it's football coaches that never play football. You know what I mean? See, hey, I, you go to court, the gang experts never been in the game. So, see. No, but but no, I like If you it. giving him the pass, just say that. <laughs> I ain't the nigga. I can't give a nigga a pass. He gonna do what he wanna do anyway. I'm saying, good. but you ain't got to be from somewhere to research it. You could know all about Tupac and wasn't even born when he was alive. So like, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I, I like I don't it. No, I feel like a Munchie B story coming soon. Hey, love, love nah, Munchie, I bro. I appreciate you being on here, man. And you know what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're a LA legend. You're a piece of history right there as far as that story. And you built your own legacy in the game. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I'd, I'd love to, to link up with you and, and even speak to you, maybe interview you someday, bro. So I really appreciate you, man. Yeah, oh, I'm going to connect y'all. I'm going to connect y'all. I'm going to get Jay because I know Jay been waiting. I'm going to do Jay and then I'm going to do one more person. All right, what's up with the tribe? Um, it, when you when it comes to making your videos, like as far as the length, like is that like by choice, like or you really don't have no way around to shorten the 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 film? Sorry, bro. Can you say the the first part of that? I missed the first part. Can you say it again? I said I said as far as like the length of the film of the um, documentaries that you make, like is it by choice? Like you choose to make them long like that, or you? really don't have a choice like because all the information that you I'm gonna I'm make the story shorter going forward bro I want to start doing more like two hour stories but I'll be honest with you bro when it came to young boy I didn't set out to do a six hour documentary but the more I learned about him bro the guy's got dozens of albums out there it really was a case that just like I kept finding information to be honest bro there was there was like probably an hour of information I had to cut out of that documentary bro that shit would have been that could have been eight hours long so I had to trim it down a little bit but young boy's story is so deep and complex that I felt like if I wanted to tell the story right, it just had to be that length. And I'll be real with you, bro. Doing a six-hour documentary was not fun, bro. I ain't trying to do that shit again. So I'm aiming for two, two hours going forward, and that's what I want to do. I think the Tay Savage story is going to be about two. All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Shaniqua. I don't know, Nikwa, you got you got a question? No, I'm just in here chilling. Okay. Ray Ray. I know Ray Ray was raising his hand. What's happening? What happened? What happened? Salute to the room, yo. All uh, right, uh, you got a question for Trap or no? Uh, 
not really. Not not okay. had already the answer and think that was gonna happen. For sure, for hey, sure, man. Hey Rockstar, this this gonna be the last question. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We no, nah, no, nah, we we good. Hey, check this out, man. I appreciate everybody pulling up, participating, man. Trap La Ross in the motherfucking building. First time on Clubhouse right here with Rockstar 2800. Shout out to Trap La Ross. You understand for pulling up, man, standing on business. You feel me? Um, it was an honor and it was a pleasure meeting you at Adam's birthday party, man. Uh, I want to talk about that. What made you want to give Adam that award, his his birthday gift? Hey, bro, love that, man. Love that you even remember that, bro. Listen, I wanted to make sure I made a special impression because when Adam invited me to his birthday party, bro, I, I was I hit my homie up and said, bro, do you think I should just fly out and go to Adam 22's birthday party? And he said, bro, do that shit. And you know what I'm saying? I had to do something memorable. So I bought him that, that award. I don't know if anybody saw that, but it was a golden bag of dicks because that guy made the bag this year with his dick. And you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to show love and give him something <laughs> memorable for his birthday, bro. But love, bro, it was, it was a great opportunity to meet you. I connected with a lot of amazing people. And honestly, bro, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to be here on this call. And I appreciate all the questions, you know, positive or negative. I ain't never ducking no fades. I'm happy to have a debate with anybody, positive or negative, bro. And I appreciate Talk everybody that here. And shit, I respect trap. everybody's voice. Talk that so let's go. Shit. Let's go. Big Trap Lord in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out Trap Lord, man. Come back anytime, man. We up here. I appreciate you. We going to holler. Hey, love, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Peace. I'm out. I'm off. Bye. For so, hey, leave quietly up there at the top. Top right. Uh, Tell sure, Adam man. to eat a bag of dicks. We know what that meant. Because <laughs> 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 no, no, that was that's crazy. That's crazy because I I really uh, in the in the post that we posted on Smut Free I I, I was like damn is is Traveler Ross trolling him in a way you know what I'm saying but I'm pretty sure he got a lot of love for Adam man you know what I'm saying but yeah man I appreciate everybody pulling up man this was a great interview. Some good. I hope y'all got some good information out of this. Got y'all questions answered for some of y'all. You know what y'all think about this? I think that shit was great, Yo, bro. Yo, salute to you for having that, bro. Rock that the goat. Appreciate rock star the goat. Yeah, you go, rock star. Keep up the good work. No, for sure, for sure. I think it's just you know, you know, when you get out here, you rub shoulders with individuals. You know, everybody in the same space. Uh, Trap Lord act like he knew who I was. You know what I'm saying? He, he was comfortable when we met him. Me and KK was in a party, chopping it up. The nigga was chilling with us. You feel me? Like regular. So I'm like, look, bro, come on here. He like, shit, hell yeah, I come on there. So he's been excited since Adam's birthday party, since I told him to come on here. The dude hit me, like, literally the next couple days. Like, hey, we still going to do the clubhouse now? I'm like, hell yeah. What's happening? So... He's been excited to come on here, and, you know, I think this is great feedback for him, and, and hopefully this motivates him to probably uh, put out some different type of content, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm proud of people and their questions, you know what I'm saying? Really getting to the meat and potatoes whoa, of this shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said I'm, I said I'm proud of people. Pause, pause. I said I'm no, proud no, of people. No, no, no. I was just, I, I, I fuck with your speech, but don't say you're proud of niggas, bro. Cause no, no, I am. Because some of the questions, because some of y'all niggas don't have no good questions. You should be bullshit. Me, me and potatoes. All right, let, all right, no, look. Let, all right, let me, let me word it for you. A nigga, a nigga appreciate the, the interaction, but the the questions, like, that's why I was like, like, we all sitting on the floor listening to the same shit. Like, if I hear the, if I'm the last person that got to ask a question and I hear the third person ask a question, I'm not about to get when it's my turn. Ask that same exact question that the that number three already asked already. Like, that's the only shit that be like, yeah, you know I'm saying like, if you can see a lot of niggas was in the comments like, bro, we already asked, like he already answered that, bro. Niggas already asked her that. Why? What? Where you been at the whole little time we in here, bro? Yeah, like, yeah, no, that's for why sure. I ain't really, I ain't really like, had nothing to ask because they already asked the question though. Nah, he. But, but, but some niggas may have missed it. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? yeah. No, hold you you breaking up. You breaking up, bro. Yeah, some niggas got on stage late for sure. Came in the room late. Nah, it's it's all love though. Like I said, I appreciate Why? everybody Why? participating, you know what I'm saying? Uh coming through, chopping it up. Like I said, we had the half twins earlier this week. Trap Little Ross just came. Stupid Young will be here on the first. 
So y'all stay tuned, man. We got the hottest content in these internet streets, nigga. No cap, nigga. And this shit ain't gonna stop. Just know that. You know what I'm saying? No, saying Shout out everybody no, on the saying. YouTube chat.